Welcome to my art journey. This is my second year as a professional artist and this video tracks my progress as I continue to learn and grow and make mistakes and improve. Another first for me is a commission for a friend, uh, Maria. Maria was nice enough to have more confidence in me than I did in myself. It was a new kind of pressure. and You see my smiling face in that photo. Well, I wasn't doing a lot of smiling when I was under pressure painting uh, for Maria and doing this commission. It's a whole lot different when you know you're being paid and you're doing something for someone else. But uh, what you're going to see here tracks the progress of the painting. Hope you enjoy it. What you're looking at here is the uh, photos that I had to work with. And then I used a digital art program that I have to kind of get rid of the background, clean it up, and then rearrange them in the pose that you see there. And then that's what I used as the basis for my sketch. So here's where I begin and, and start the work. And uh, it's just a totally different experience. I, I had someone a year ago um, ask if I would uh, do some work for them, and they were going to pay me in advance and commission me, and I, I turned it down. I just did too much pressure. And, you know, I'm painting for the joy of it and, and uh, the things that I choose to do and also the things I think I can do. Uh, so... Uh, I was I was a bit reluctant, but uh, I also put a whole lot of hours and time in it. And uh, even as I went to bed at night, I kept thinking about how I could make it better. And uh, so I kind of worried it to death. Uh, but uh, when I saw the reaction of the friend and her daughter when they first saw the unveiling of the finished painting, uh, that really made it all worthwhile. Uh, it's wonderful how art can evoke emotion, uh, even tears, uh, if you do it right. And, you know, I had a someone at my first solo art ex exhibition who paid the ultimate compliment by saying, I don't just paint landscapes or subjects. I paint feelings. I paint emotions. And I certainly felt that when I unveiled the finished painting here. So it made it all worthwhile. And uh, now I guess I could be in the business of uh, painting pet portraits uh, now. So hint, hint. So we're now at the midway point almost. Uh, Callie is done and now I'm starting to work on Diesel. Uh, at the point that I had Diesel pretty well along, I had Maria come over and look at the progress and see if uh, if I was on the right track because I've never met the dogs but I had the photos to go from and Maria was helpful because she said the fur needed to be a lot darker with uh, Cali and you'll see that adjustment being made but she said I had the blue tint right on diesel I never showed any more progress on this until the day I unveiled it to Maria and her daughter uh, who's a teenager who loves art and does a lot of work of her own. And so it's pretty special to kind of pull the cover off and show them both at the same time. And their reaction really made this all worthwhile. Uh, I really felt uh, greatly rewarded with their reaction when they saw the finished work. And what a wonderful gift. Uh, they did this as a gift for a friend who owns these two great dogs, and uh, I, I just think it's it's the ultimate gift when you can give original art uh, to someone uh, of obviously these two dogs that they love very much. And the thing to consider about original art is you can really capture more detail and make things look more three-dimensional than any photo. There's no photo that uh, can really uh, highlight things as well as oil paint and uh, you know as you saw at the beginning you saw the photos and they were just shot with a, a phone camera um, iPhone camera and uh, they take excellent photos and all of that but there's certainly not that color and depth 
and especially the expression in the eyes that you can do. And I'm real happy with how Callie's tongue and mouth and teeth came out. The eyes are the window to the soul, but Callie's smile really shows her personality. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to give me a thumbs up on the YouTube channel or subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll get to see even more upcoming episodes or can look at some of my previous ones. Again, this is episode 18, so I've done a bunch of these uh, kind of tracking my growth and progress in my second year as a professional artist. Thanks again for watching and uh, hope you uh, can subscribe. It, it helps reach even more people that way. Thank you.